Hey, James G here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. But remember, you can always follow us online at tarpleymusic.com at any time. So today I've got the Yamaha FG800VN Vintage Natural. Uh, now this is a pretty standard Yamaha FG800, except it does have a very cool uh, Vintage Natural type finish for that, which makes it an AIM model. Now AIM is the Alliance of Independent Music Merchants, so there's certain... Uh, companies that are a part of that AIM group that can, that can, um, they're the only ones that can carry this with the Vintage Natural, and of course we are one of those. But I really wanted to talk, talk about this guitar because a lot of people, when they're getting started, ask a lot of questions about, you know, introductory level guitars. And the biggest thing I hear is, well, I want to get, what can I get for cheap? I'm like, well, don't, com don't confuse cheap with inexpensive, okay? There are a number, a number of really cheap guitars out there on any website you can find it, okay? Uh, but you can get inexpensive and still get a quality instrument. Now Yamaha, they've been doing student model instruments for years. They do it through pianos, keyboards, all types of horns, um, with guitars, drums, percussion, and so I tend to really lean towards them for student model or introductory level stuff. So don't get that confused with Yamaha cheap model. No, it's just where they start and it's their inexpensive models. Um, now this particular shape here, uh, Yamaha refers to as a Western, uh, but you also hear it as Dreadnought, which is one of the most famous uh, full style body guitar um, styles here. And it is a Sitka spruce. It's a solid S Sitka spruce top. Um, which is very common also for uh, good acoustic guitars. And then the back and sides are actually made out of a wood called NATO. It's got a nice uh, black binding here. And then uh, the, the fretboard is rosewood as well as the bridge, which are good solid woods there. The uh, nut and the saddle are made out of urea, and that's a very... Uh, Yamaha uses urea a lot. It's a really great plastic that's easy to shape and easy to hold. So you'll see that on a lot of, of their models of, of instruments there. And it holds tune uh, just fine. And it's a 15 and a 3 fourths radius, which is really standard for most student model acoustics. So if I was looking for something inexpensive for a student model, of course, this has no electronics in or anything. This is literally just your good old Western or Dreadnought style guitar for strumming. Some people will actually use these for campfire guitar something like that where it still sounds good and it's playable but they're not taking a really expensive guitar out so there's a lot of reasons to get this particular guitar so what I'd like to do is since it's not electric we're just going to mic the guitar several different ways uh, so you can got kind of get a feel for how it sounds and you start realizing you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to get a good sounding acoustic
All right, so we've heard the guitar, what it sounds like on its own, but what if you were gonna use it to record at home? Well, let's find out what it'd sound like. Hit it, boys. So uh, Yamaha FG800VN, like I said before, um, I really like, uh, as a teacher, I taught for years, and I really liked leaning towards uh, Yamahas when people were looking for like starter level or introductory level uh, guitars because I always felt they were more consistent. I knew the parts were going to be good. Um, now, are, am I going to need to maybe do some adjustments when I get it? Yes. Are they mass produced? Yes, of course. There's all those kinds of things. Um, but the parts they're using are really good. The woods they're using are good. Um, and of course, everything is cut, uh, you know, pretty much identical because of the way they're being done. So for me, it's get a inexpensive, well-made guitar. Just don't go out and get a cheap one, right? Because uh, especially if you're a beginning, because if you can't play the thing, you're going to get frustrated and you're going to quit. It's really, really simple. So uh, in any of these guitars, that these got a good truss rod in them. They're very capable of being, uh, you know, we can take it down and adjust it to your uh, playing style a little bit better, stuff like that. But yeah, of course, they are. They're mass produced, so there's not as much attention. Um, if they played like $1,000 guitars, then no one would make $1,000 guitars, right? So, but you do want to concentrate on getting something that's a solid top is recommended, you know, that plays well, and, and it's got good parts on it. And this Yamaha does that. And quite honestly, the Vintage Natural is just a really sweet kind of a color, um, and it does give an old kind of vintage vibe to it. So if you are beginning or if you're looking for a cool, uh, like, camp fire style guitar, FG800, uh, definitely one to look at. So, um, but you won't know until you come down here and put it in your lap and you start playing. Uh, even if you don't know anything about guitar and you want to learn, it's still really, really important to come down and get one in your hands because it's like, well, I don't know anything. It's like, well, you know, you can tell just by holding it, okay, this kind of feels too weird or like, man, I can barely get my hand around this. There are some things that we can do uh, even if you are a beginner to make sure a guitar works for you. So uh, hopefully if you're not playing guitar and you are about to start playing guitar, that's awesome. This would be one to come down to Tarpley and look at. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, of course, please hit like and uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already because we're just doing uh, tons of different gear review and we've got all kinds of different new uh, videos that we are going to be coming out and we're launching every single week. Um, and if you would like to know as those launch, you can just turn on notifications right there and we will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.